I beg your pardon. Just drained the life out of me. What on earth drained the life out of you? Life was in about half an hour. Tyan Booth arrives at Dublin Airport for his return flight back to the UK after allegedly having intercourse five times in 30 minutes with the Dublin woman. We're getting on a plane, man, heading back to England. I didn't learn anything, did I? You know, Brendan's brother telling me to stay away from alcohol. What did I do last night, man? Downed it. Banged the in Dublin chick. Bust a nut. I ain't banged for time. Five times in a night. If only he gave the same effort for the comeback fight in Dudley as he did for the Dublin woman last night. Allegedly. It's exaggerating, it's bragging, man. So you lied. What a shock. As Tayan awaits to board his propeller airplane, he fantasizes about a potential trip to India. No, I think this will be a... No disrespect to anybody, but it'd be... What? You said it was a totally different culture, you know, experience than England, but how? How is it? It's the same old man. Like I say, if we go somewhere like India, then it'll be totally different, isn't it? Be around all the flies and the famine, shitting on the floor and that. Oh, it's disgusting. The cult leader realizes that he forgot to empty his pockets, which may still contain weed. Is Tyan Booth about to land himself in shit for drug trafficking? This was supposed to be a journey of self-discovery, not fucking importing drugs. Managed to get the, uh... Managed to get the stuff through customs. There must be a bit of, a little sprinkle of weed in my pockets. You know, that just fall out of the fucking actual split. But it might just be a, such a small amount that it hasn't shown up, you know, on the sort of detectors when we go through the airport. I hope for your sake there isn't any sprinkles of weed. I had a couple last night, you know, to chill out with this woman. Oh yeah, this Dublin woman that no one has seen. You know, spending the night with someone with ADHD. Uh, AD, attention deficit disorder, yeah? AD, AD. It's basically like where you can't concentrate. She was like fidgeting all night, you know, arm was shaking like that. This leg was twitching of hers. She kept fucking putting her knee on my shin like this. She went like that on my face as well, I forgot about that. You know when I was asleep? She started going like that, like she was trying to choke me or something. Yeah, she's weird, man. I wonder what she thought about you. I don't know what she was doing, but it's like, she was just trying to like, it was like on the bed, trying, going to sleep. And she'd like put her hand on my nose like that. I'm covering my mouth. To be fair, that sounds very romantic. I don't know if she was trying to like wind me up, you know, so I started to get a bit physical and fucking grab her by the throat. Was that turned on some women? Don't know. Hopefully I don't get a little call from the police. There's none of that going on. I, re I recorded it, you know, just to be safe. I wore a be safe condom as well. Don't buy them, don't believe the hype, man. They're fucking horrible. They're not worth a tenner. Some guy gave me 50 pounds, you know, you know, for one be safe condom. Too tight. Made in Sri Lanka. I think you should just shut the fuck up and get on that plane before you incriminate yourself any further. Do you want to try one? Yeah. Do you want to, do you want me to give you one of them? So you can just try it. No, I don't bloody want a be safe condom. Be safe. That wraps up our Dublin series. In our next instalment, you will see Tyan Booth get ready for his big date as he goes shopping for an outfit at a world famous store. Remember to hit subscribe and turn your notifications on for all the latest on this series. Cheap little outfit, you know, because of child labor.